Today I'm going to show you all how I transformed our entryway into a nice welcoming space. I have decorated the whole area in such a way that it tells the story of us to the guests. On the other hand, I have made it completely functional by organizing the entryway console in it so that everything has a devoted spot and nothing goes missing. I designed this unit solely for the storage purpose. Before showing what and how I have organized, let me show you all how I decorated this space. On the right side of the console unit, we are planning to go with the floating shelf. And this shelf is actually a beam from my husband's grandparents home and it carries a lot of sentimental values for us. And I bought this mirror from home center which will come on the left side. Adding this brightens the entrance and makes it more spacious. Since this whole side looks plain and lacks any architectural element, I am going to highlight this wall by painting an arch to give a nice pop of color. Using the thread and pencil method, I am drawing an arch and lining it with masking tape for proper edges. I am going with the same mustard yellow that I used to paint the accent wall in our dining area. If you haven't watched that video, please check it out. I have given the link in the description box. And I have done some couple of DIYs such as painting a ceramic statue and pots in golden and copper color and I believe this gives nice classy look. Stacking one pot over the other gives a perfect elevation and can be used as a vase. Here I have used it as a propagator for money plants. Then to this glass vase, I am giving a nice boho touch by wrapping it with cane bimbing. Next for the welcome signboard, I am using this photo frame. These are painted by my son using the homemade colors that I made for him. You can check out this video if you haven't watched it before by clicking the link given in the description box. I am using this one as it matches well with the mustard yellow paint arch. Then using a black marker pen, I have written some calligraphy welcome sign on a clear paper. For this, first I drew the design on a paper with pencil, then I traced it on a clear paper using this black marker. So that the background color splash can be kept constant and then the welcome design alone can be changed as per our liking. Then for the next DIY, I am using this empty center candle container and matka pot to make some artificial succulent pots. I am using this copper water jug to keep money plants. Here I am going to keep some plants of varying heights. I 
and in this corner I am placing a jute bag. Inside I am keeping a hand sanitizer, disinfectant spray, cockroach gel and a natural insect repellent. And some brown bags and papers for lining green waste bins. Next I am using these two lanterns to hang in the wall mounted brackets above. On the opposite side, we have fixed this wooden mini key cabinet for storing all of our keys that we use. I'm placing some artificial succulents above this. Then in the empty wall next to the key cabinet, I am going to make a plant gallery wall which I got the inspo from this YouTuber. First I am making a wall mounted wicker basket with succulents. First I am gluing this flower foam to the wicker basket. Then I am fixing these succulents by poking them inside. I am using the artificial ones. For extra reinforcement, I am inserting some skewers through the basket into the foam. Finally, I am covering the foam with some artificial grass powder. Next, I am going to make another welcome sign. Then, I am arranging everything down to finalize the layout. Then I placed it on the wall to confirm whether it looks nice. Finally, I am securing these to the wall with the help of command strips. Next, I am going to organize inside the entryway table. Here, I have kept only my son's shoes. Next, I am placing all the jackets and raincoats in this tray. It will be very easy to grab when we go outside. Next, in this tray, I am keeping all the paper bags that I have collected. Here we keep our helmets and an extra cylinder and with the help of an adhesive hook I am placing some bags that my husband takes while going out to buy groceries. In the first drawer I am keeping all of my son's medical documents and in this bag I am keeping all the bills and warranty cards. Then in the next drawer I am organizing the socks, gloves, caps and umbrella. Then in the next drawer, I am keeping all of my foldable shopping bags which comes handy when I go out. It is spacious and can hold many items. Then in this bag, I keep all the miscellaneous items.
the lost toy is a bit spacious compared to the other three. Here I am keeping all of my backpacks and a sling bag along with some gift covers. I thought very well and designed this entryway table effectively so that it holds all the going out essentials, important bills and including an extra cylinder. Finally, this is how our entryway area turned out. Warm and welcoming. And I conclude by saying that the entryway area is the focal of any house that connects and brings every other area in the house together. So it is indeed important to take care of this area as it gives the first impression to our guests and gives them an idea of how our rest of our house is going to be. I hope you all enjoyed this video and all the ideas that I have shared here. Do tell me in the comments which one was your favorite. I would really love to read your comments. See you all again with another video. Until then bye. Take care.